Hello guys, I'm here to do an early June garden tour and show y'all some of the successes I'm having and also some of the failures because you're not learning if you're not failing. So let's learn as we grow. As we grow. We'll start over here with this earth box. These are two Jetstar tomatoes that I picked up uh, from a local farm stand. And I wanted to give the, that variety a try and added some marigolds in there that I grew in the uh, aeroponic garden, the hydro aero garden. But as you can see, the squirrels got to a couple of them planting peanuts. Brussels sprouts, I'm, I'm giving up on the Brussels sprouts for, for now. They're just not growing. They've been that way for a month now. So I'm gonna pull it out and use that space for something else. I'm think I'm gonna refurbish that whole box. These are the Kentucky Wonder Pole beans we planted together. And that's the Cherokee Trail of Tear beans. They are a black bean that I planted over there doing well. Kale's doing fabulous. Uh, I pick, I'm picking on it every single day. Three, four, five stalks. Some's going to the chickens. Some's going in the freezer. One cabbage over here that's putting on ahead. This broccoli I'm going to be picking in the next day or two. Those heads are getting on up there. And when I do that, these cabbages, when I pull these out, those cabbages will take off. This box of broccoli is not doing so well, so I may yank them out. There's one little head trying to form down there, but uh, just in the rest are cauliflower, and they're just not doing well. Not sure. I'm going to think I'm going to redo the, both of those boxes. Another box of cabbage with a random broccoli in here. I plugged it in whole and it's getting up there. It'll be, it'll be plucked in the next day or two. I mean, it's still, it's still kind of firm, but it's getting up there in size. Shard over there is doing well, feeding the chickens daily. The sugar snap peas are coming out as soon as I get all these peas on here harvested. Uh, we throw them in the freezer and do some stir fries, what I don't eat out when I'm out here, snack on them. I've got three pepper plants in here that I bought up at the farm store. Uh, three kinds I've never tried before, poblanos, uh, what you call it, giant Mar marconi, and I can't remember what this last one is down here, pablo, or ancho poblano. So we'll try those. This box of broccoli is doing really well. These heads are getting big on here. I mean, as big as my fist, if not bigger. Uh, they're starting to get loose today. So they'll come out tonight or tomorrow. And I'm just gonna plant something else in this box. I'm not gonna wait on the side shoots. Another box that's got some snap peas in it and the squirrels of the birds got on top of these and bent them over. Uh, they were just towering way over, but that's some good looking sugar snap peas there and they're a tasty little snack got two little bitty cabbages on the other side and that's about as big as they've got maybe they'll take off when i take these peas out and this is a box of cauliflower this is snowball cauliflower it's just now starting to put on some some heads in there if you can see that and then as far as the last of the earth boxes over here this cabbage is looking great i moved it over here closer to the edge of the patio where it doesn't get as much early sun because it looked like it was starting to get some sun damage. So keeping it tucked away in the shade. And I think that's a broccoli or cauliflower. I don't know, something in the corner, but it's not doing much. It's growing. Maybe maybe it'll put on the head. But this this will be picked here for too much longer. Oop, forgot about these. Strawberries are pretty much done. I'm gonna pull these out this winter and start over next year. All the strawberries I got this year were just tiny and little. So, and they're, this is the fourth year of these strawberry plants. I probably should have pulled them out anyway. All right, I think this is where my phone overheated. So I'm coming back to do part of my early June update. This is the green stock with all the vinca marigolds and the nasturtiums are really starting to pop now. Still have a couple spots where the squirrels like to dig, so I'm just leaving them where, where they're at. Maybe they'll stick with those. That's the green stalk. Strawberries are done. Just a couple on there. Um, I'm going to pull those out and redo all of them next year. This was the fourth year for those plants. 
So I'm really surprised they really put out much of anything, but they did. Can't remember <laughs> if I covered this or earlier or not, uh, but this is the bed where I planted some corn and okra. You can see the squirrels dug in under there. Oh, some of the okra's coming up, but you can see little holes where all the cold corn was. And I'm pretty sure it was squirrels because the little nettings bit through. If it's birds, they'd have just plucked it through the holes. So I don't know what I'll do there. Maybe some milkweed? Uh, something to feed the butterflies? I don't know. We'll see. And here are the collards and the lettuce bed. See all the little gem lettuce down there? I just watered so everything's kind of wet. And the collards just really popping up. Chamomile. Chamomile marigolds. This is another leaf lettuce. I think that's a romaine like. Um, there's another chamomile. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's some uh, sunflowers or uh, teddy bear sunflowers down there in the middle. I need to get out here and cut some of these greens. First onion bed. And I believe that's the melons right there. Onions are starting to put up. Some aren't. Some of them are struggling. And some of them are starting to really put on some greens. You can see where I'm starting to put irrigation in. And I hadn't hooked it. It's not hooked up to anything yet. But I'm just kind of playing with the tubing, figuring out how I want it. And uh, I'm not sure that's the route I'm going to go. But we'll see. It's looking kind of pitiful today. These are the other onions, the cipollini and the cucumbers, and I've started thinning these out through here. Still waiting on those cucumelons to kind of try to catch up. I'll probably trim one more of those in the middle out, one or two more of those out, and then several of those when they get up. Same thing on these melons over here. Um, the shrimp has finally popped up, but they're, they're kind of lagging behind, so I'm going to give them all a little bit more time to grow before I thin. You can see over here, there's the radishes I planted, and it's hit or miss or spotty, but the section where I did 16 in there, they're doing really well. So I don't know if birds ate them down here or what. Uh, rutabagas, and not an enchilada. And you can see that Merlot lettuce that's peeking up through there, partially down here. And I think there's some turnips down here. Uh, but not doing so hot. I'll try those again in the fall. It was probably too hot anyway. Little flower bed in here is doing well. The lantana's coming up. And then these are the Wisconsin 55s. You can see I got some tomatoes on here and blooms everywhere. Blooms. I need to get here and I was thinning out some of the other ones today and I'm just really not sure, sure how to manage these Wisconsin 55. They kind of sprawl everywhere. And more tomatoes there. Lots and lots of blooms. Wisconsin 55's doing good though. In this bed I have uh, I believe the jalapenos. These are lemon spice and orange spice jalapenos and they're kind of lagging behind the rest of them. Um, but they're they're coming on there. I'm seeing bloom still and uh, hopefully they'll catch up especially since I thinned out the tomatoes on the back side. I'll show you here in just a minute. These little peppers down here are these are yellow bells I believe and they've got some Peppers and blooms coming on. More tomatoes over here. This is a unicorn, and that's exactly why I wanted to try that unicorn. Because look at that truss right there. I've always dreamed of having really big, long trusses of cherry tomatoes or tomatoes. So we'll see. Um, but the rest have been here looking pretty good. Cherokee purples trimmed about down there. Get some airflow in there. These are the mochi cherry tomatoes, and uh, they've got flowers everywhere. And I don't know if I've got any fruit on there or not. I thinned them out to us. I don't have anything planted up the front of the, this bed yet. Marigolds and a Mexican sunflower and some basil over there. But they're looking okay. And this is in the middle set of the little beds. And then this one over here, this is the Sweet 100. Still got my little tomato of mine down there. Lots of blooms. Trellising it up, and that's a Rutgers. And then the, the look at that deal. I need to 
come cut that and dehydrate it. A three little, uh, maybe, three little sugar baby watermelons peeking their heads up. I'll just run them out here on the aisle. More dill. Look at that one. All right, long raised bed number three. This is the tomatillas down here, and I'm starting to get, uh, let's see, let's find one. Little tomatillas in there. Lots of blooms. These peppers over here, these are the Craig's Grande jalapeno. That one's a lot taller than the rest of them. I believe these were two that I topped. So they're definitely bushier, but they're not getting as tall. So we'll compare these two to those two uh, when they really start putting them. There are some jalapenos in here though. I saw them earlier. Yeah, there's some jalapenos in there. I may even pick those here in a few days to see if that won't make those get a little bit bigger. And uh, ground cherries down here. It thought I killed them earlier because they were just all groupy over, so I watered them in real good. They're springing back to life and perking back up. And there are tons of little ground cherries on these plants in there. I could see it really well earlier when it was all grouping over, but there's tons of them in there. There's some nasturtiums in there too, but I think they're getting shaded out. And then this is the mystery tomato. I am thinking yeah, more and more it's Big Zach because of how tall and it is. Got some blooms on it. And these are some of the Black Beauties. And let me tell you, Black Beauty wants to grow. Because she puts out runners and suckers and sprawl. Black Beauty wants to grow. And I think this is a... Uh, White Tomasol, the white tomato here. And another Big Zach on the end down here. But it's not growing near as big as the rest of my Big Zacks. And who knows, maybe that little sucker could put on the biggest one. We'll see. All right, this is long bed number four. That's patty pan squash poking up there. I most likely will end up pulling one of those out. Because I think three is going to be a big bit much. But these are all my orange and yellow bell peppers down here and these i think the yellow were on this end and boy they're really getting big and bushing up putting up blooms and the orange ones are not far behind i've got some tags down under there somewhere i can dig and look for but i'm not going to and then this is big zach on the end and he's getting pretty big and mountain merit lots of blooms See, that's another mountain merit. Here's another white tomato. Oh, lots of basil I've been trimming. I'm not seeing any blooms down here yet. And that. And now remember, I was dealing with that magnesium deficiency, and I treated with Epsom salt. Well, I see no signs of it now in any of these leaves. And it was on this end. <coughs> Pardon me, in this end. Pardon the neighbor's dog. But I see no signs of magnesium deficiency since, since I did that. And that was the only time I did it. These are bush beans down here in front of these tomatoes. More dill and chamomile. And they're kind of hit or miss. I mean, there are some that are just like that and some that are bushing up. And I, I don't know. I don't know. But the, these tomatoes are more of the unicorn cherry tomatoes so I'm hoping they'll trellis up and we'll see lots of big trusses of cherry tomatoes and then this other little bed down here I'll show y'all this this is why I hadn't thinned them out yet is these are the Chinese noodle beans the yard long beans and they are just getting eat up with something I haven't seen what it is but some are getting in are growing better than others I do definitely need to thin them out, but I'm just going to give them a, another few days to figure out who's going to be the survivors and pull through because that one like down there is really eat up. So we'll just see on those. More of the bush beans over there on that side and the black hollyhock in front that might be shading out some of these beans, but we'll see. Lesson next year, don't put a hollyhock near the green beans or marigolds. That's what I've learned. More deal there. More deal down there. This little bit down here, just like the other one. 
The lantern is really putting on some blues now. And hoping y'all can still see this because it's getting quite dark out here. I'm waiting to see if the littles are going to go up on their own tonight. I've got that lamp in there. Um, this is one of my squash beds. Some sunflowers there in the center with my solar lights. And these are the Rise and Shine, supposed to be vertical growing yellow squash. And that's why I've got the cages on them. And these are, uh, I need to thin one of those out, probably that little guy there. These are the spaghetti squash. And this is the zucchini ones, and they're just not doing as well. More spaghetti squash, zucchini, sunflowers. So again, sorry for the neighbor's dogs. It's okay, though. 